What's happening guys, Chris here again. Today is Monday and I'm back in my office and I decided to make a video about my Lightroom presets that I've been selling. So these have been on sale for about a month now but I haven't made any demo videos or anything like that to show you guys how they work. So I'm into Lightroom, I have some Canon files, some Sony files and I'm just going to show you guys how they work. There's three main presets that come with this pack and the key to remember with that is I've had a few comments with people saying that why is there only three, I wish there was more. See with me the whole thing is to use presets is to speed your process up. Now these presets are quite clean and they don't need a lot of changing so it's a really good base to start with and then you can stylize it yourself with your own tweaks. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you guys how they work. Like I said there's three presets, two of which are color and the third one is black and white. I'll show you why there's three and why I like to keep it simple. Let's jump in and I'll show you how it works. Here we are guys, we're back into Lightroom. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of photos here. Most of them are Sony because they're mine and I've got a few Canon ones here from other people that we can try out to show you how they work. These really do work on all brands of cameras that I've seen so far. I've tried them on Fuji files and they were the only ones that stood out a little bit and they were still really nice but they did look a little bit different. So Sony, Canon, Nikon, you should be fine. So I'm just going to jump straight into it and go through these. You can see it's quite, it's going to be quite a quick video, but I just want you guys to see how they work. So all of these are straight out of the camera. Nothing's been touched as you can see. And assuming white balance is right on all of them, there's not much that you should have to do other than choose a preset. Now, as you can see, I've got them here, CTM1 soft, two, three, so soft, punchy, black and white, and then turning grain on and off. Um, these presets do come with the grain added straight out of the box because I do like it. If you don't like it, then you can turn it off or just resave the preset with it off. So straight into it, CTM1 soft. I'll bring it up a little bit and that's pretty much it. Job done. So really simple, really clean, nice skin tones. The whites stay white and it's just a really clean edit. So next photo here, this is quite, an, uh, you know, this is obviously golden hour and it's quite orange. But uh, if I just chuck it on there. You can see the blacks go really nice and dark. I really, that's just my style and I really like it. If you don't, you can just bring it up a little bit. If I choose the punchy one here, this is a good example how it just takes some of the orange out of the skin and adds a little bit of contrast back. So in this photo, it works quite nicely and pay attention to the greens. They do change a little bit between these two. So if you don't like the greens and the soft, you can try the punchy and then take a little bit from each preset and make your own out of it. So here's another really cool shot. As you can see, I've got a really annoying sign here that I need to take out, but let's just do a real clean edit. Uh, first off, let's get rid of that sign here. Really nice and basic, there you go. And now if I just go straight into CTM1 soft again, bam, job done. Really nice. Might warm it up a little bit. You know, it's all personal touch. But that's pretty much how I'd edit it. Maybe bring the highlights down a fraction before, after. So you can see it brings out the oranges here really nicely and the, the greens don't die. They, you know, I like to keep the greens natural. If I go the punchy one, it's going to change it quite a bit and cool it down. So next photo, this is down in Queenstown in uh, New Zealand. This is my mate Tom, he's a photographer down there, Thomas Reese. And uh, I'm just gonna click CTM1 soft. I'm gonna bring the highlights down this one to get that detail back and maybe the shadows up a touch. But that's pretty much job done again for me. See the, orange, the yellows are really nice. It maintains the skin tone. And once it loads there, if I take the grain off, you can see it just kind of cleans it out. But um, Personally, I really like the grain, so I'll just add it back there. Another one in the same spot here. This is the same day. CTM soft. Now, if I just go to the punchy one, you can see it's just slightly different. But there, that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> so here you go, same spot again on a different day. I'm just gonna warm it up and maybe center them up a little bit. Some of you guys that follow my work would have seen this. The final photo, I did Photoshop out this annoying fence. But let's just go straight for soft again. Bring the highlights down. Shadows up a touch because there's quite a high contrast. And this just needs to be warmed up a touch and the tint changed a little bit. So as you can see, it does change for every lighting situation and white balance. But from before and after, just really nice clean edit. Um, adds nice contrast, keeps all the colors. And uh, yeah, it's just, I'm really enjoying it. So there you go. 
Now this is a Canon file, this is from a Canon 6D and I believe it's the 51.2 there. Now straight out of the camera it looks really nice. If I just go straight for soft again, bam. Loving that. I love the green behind and the skin tones are really nice. This is from a local photographer, Helena Parsons. So before, after. Again, if I just reset that and just do a one click edit, you could deliver that. You know, it's really simple. That's the punchy one and the black and white. It doesn't really work here because it's a bit busy, but the soft one works perfect. Really love it. So now this image is really basic, just a crappy photo, but I put it in there to show you guys the difference between the soft and the punchy one with the green. So soft here is what I, what I use most of the time, like I said. And uh, you can see the oranges are accentuated and the greens are just nice and realistic, but have that kind of minty tone to them. And then the punchy one is quite a bit different. So if I just go in between them there, you can see the greens are slightly different. So, you know, each to their own personal taste, see which one you like for yourself. And like I said, you can always change them and, uh, you know, add bits from one preset to the other and make your own creation out of it. So back to some more people, got some nice skin tones here, CTM soft, might be a touch too warm, or you could try the punchy one if it's not working for you, that looks pretty cool, but either way, you can see it works. This one I put in there because I think it looks really good in black and white, and I just bring the shadows up a touch. But that's pretty much it there, that's what I'd go for. You'll get some really nice tones out of this one. This is my friends, Rachel from Swift and Click, Rachel and Jared and their little girl. Straight to soft, and as you can see, a little bit of exposure adjustment, and it just the tones and the skin and everything, I just really, really, I'm really happy with it. So the feedback I've had is amazing. So, you know, thank you guys, that everybody that's bought it, and uh, thanks for the feedback you've been giving me and all the testers I used. So here's another couple here. This one I'll go for soft again. Bring it up, maybe warm this one up a touch. Job done. So before, after. Next photo is the same cup, a little bit of a free lensing one here. Um, let's make this one black and white. So as you can see, I like my blacks black and I like, I like a lot of contrast. But yeah, that's just my style. And maybe crop out that uh, free lensing error there. So this one I put in here because it's the same couple, but it has massive amounts of contrast in it. So I'm going to go straight for the soft one. Then I know I'm going to have to bring the highlights down, maybe not that much, and the shadows up. So I'm, I'm pushing the files to the extremes here, but you can see they do still kind of hold up. Maybe add a little bit of contrast. But the point is here that, you know, it should work in all sorts of situations. So before and after, all I did was change the highlights and the shadows to match. Could even go a little bit warmer. But, job done. So here's another simple dress shot. If I just straighten this out, crop it in a little bit. Should have paid more attention really when I was framing this up, but I like that. So, like I said, one click for the preset, a little bit of uh, exposure adjustment, and I'm done. Here's another little detail shot here. CTM soft again. If I zoom in, there you go, it's loaded. And uh, you can see the grain, it just kind of makes it look a little bit crunchy. I quite like it. Just take the grain off, it's much smoother. So, that's totally up to you guys. So here's another one I would make black and white because the cast on the green windows was just so horrible. Um, but there you go. Nice black and white. I've shot it quite dark so I could maintain that cloud detail outside. But um, this one I'd use press shift M here for the circular tool and possibly just bring the bride up a little bit. But that's pretty much it. These ones I've put in here because obviously the lighting situation is very different. I'm, use, I'm using flash and uh, just blasting it straight in them and using a slow shutter speed. So I just want to show you guys how these act. So that's CTM soft and then the punchy one often works quite well for the dance floor. So as you can see between soft and punchy it just adds that little bit of contrast and cleans things up. 
and then the black and white. Again, almost peaking the highlights here on this guy's forehead, but if I go punchy, it brings it down. Soft might work a little bit better. And then the black and white. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all the feedback that you guys have given me from everybody that's bought this preset. I'll put a link in the description below with a discount code that will last the next 10 days maybe. And if you have any questions or you want me to edit some of your photos with these presets, send me an email or a link with some of your photos. I'll do that, flick them back to you and you can see how they work on your own camera. Again, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in a couple of days for the next video.